Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Amalgamash. I'm joined by Shar, and this is Liam Davies, private investigator in The Miserable Clown. This is a game made in SGB by Timo for the Amalgamash's Smile Game Builder Summer 2021 Jam. Let's dive right in. Aw, he's sad. Look. Good. <laughs> Well, I think I know who murdered the miserable clown. It was you. Location, the Royal Clown Gallery. Why is there a Royal Clown Gallery? Anyway, your client, George Wilson. Isn't that Dennis the Menace's neighbor? Owner of the gallery and clown art enthusiast. I don't, I would not accept that client. Clown art enthusiast. The objective Finding out who stole the painting, The Miserable Clown, by the esteemed abstract clown artist, Candy the Clown. This is horrible. No. A thorough investigation is being conducted by local authorities. Leave them to it. But there have been no new findings for the last few weeks. Ugh. I'm loving all the custom art and comical drawings. It's great. It's really great. You know, I'm going to take jabs at, at the clown theme, but... That's just because of my own personal vendetta against clowns. It's nothing to do with the game. This, this is great. Good job so far, Timo. You know, if anyone can solve this case, you're the one, says Jake with a smile. Well, there's our menu. Um, right. Job so far. Do you want to save your game? Yeah. All right. All right, all right, cool. So this is like adventure game uh, vibes big time. Mm -hmm. Interrogation. You smell something like damp soil and entering the interrogation room. Bring in the suspects. I'm not going to do that. I don't have any suspects. Well, you didn't even check your client list. I don't. Uh, let's, let's look at client. Well, have you made any progress so far? George asks. <laughs> Please return my baby to me. It's me. The miserable clown is a highly valuable asset to my art gallery specialized in clown-centered art. I nearly died of a heart attack when I realized it was stolen after I did my daily security check at 6 p.m. Hmm. I bought it from a holistic clown therapist during my many travels, George explains. So you did a security check at 6 p.m., eh, George? I think that was our clue. He's quite eccentric if you ask me, Jake says. Well, you damn right. Investigation. Hmm. Let's go investigate the Royal Clown Gallery. This is... It's overwhelming to me at the beginning because it's like, I don't know where to really start an investigation. You arrive at the Royal Clown Gallery. Let's look inside. Let's look, look around. The parking lot's remarkably empty. The building looks impressive. It's hard to imagine how someone would get the funds for renting such a luxurious property for a museum of clown stuff. Thank you. Go inside. How can I help you? George asks. Hmm. Even though the gallery's main hall is filled with clown art, the empty place in the wall where the missing painting used to hang sticks out. I have no time for small talk. Have you found my painting? Oh my god! <laughs> What's your name? My name is George Wilson, formerly known as Harpo the Happy Clown. Oh, you were a clown. How old are you? I'm 58. What's your occupation now? I'm the owner of this gallery and all the art in it. I'm a retired clown, you see. I had to quit the circus when I got a restraining order against a more popular clown, Sappy. But I don't see how that would be relevant to this case. Oh, you bet your sweet bonky nose it's relevant to this case. Who's your family? The only family I have is my cat, Mr. Happy. And what do you do for hobbies, Mr. George Wilson, if that is your name? <laughs> my passion is to collect clown-related art, but in the weekends, I make life-size naked clown sculptures, <laughs> but they're not on display here to keep this place family-friendly. That's... <laughs> I don't want to be an investigator anymore. <laughs> I retire. I retire. <sighs> I sure do hope my insurance company covers my losses. We're going to ask about the, this music. I'm sure that Oliver Johnson and his brat are the reason my painting is gone. You better get over there as soon as possible. Ask for information. 
Besides Oliver Johnson and his son, there have been a few other visitors. Now that I think of it, I have been giving out free tickets, but I haven't registered their names. The two of them are kind ladies, but other than that, I know nothing about them. Thank you. I cannot beat it here fast enough. Leave the scene. Let's go to Oliver's house. Oliver Johnson's house. You arrive at the house of the only suspect so far, Oliver Johnson. The house is old but cute. It's probably over a century old. Let's go inside. The door is opened by a young boy. Again, love this comic art. We're gonna look around here. The inside is as charming as the outside. I don't say anything, I just look around his house after he opens the door. All the walls are covered in dark wooden panels. The furniture looks expensive yet comfortable. You're scanning the room for any trace of the painting, but it doesn't seem to be here. The boy keeps staring at you, not changing facial expressions since he opened the door. Talk to person. The boy leaves for a moment and returns with his father. My apologies, my son is quite shy. Anyways, I'm not quite sure why you're here. How can I help you? Oh boy. Oliver's dressed fairly modern for someone with a classic luxurious interior like this. It doesn't seem like Oliver would have to steal a painting like the miserable clown either. His house is huge. Behind every door there is another hallway with several more doors. All rooms are filled with sports memorabilia. Most of it is signed, too. Good afternoon. I understand why you consider me to be a suspect. The question remaining is why anybody would steal a painting so grotesque. I'll happily answer any of your questions to prove our innocence. Well, you did it. <laughs> I know nothing about the owner, but he did force my cousin Harry into buying a clown-themed bathing suit. <laughs> we did meet another woman at the gallery called Layla. We went for dinner together afterwards. She said she was a clown activist and did mention that the painting has now gone missing. It should have been returned to its rightful owner. The painting was supposedly stolen from a group of oppressed nomadic clowns from the easternmost parts of Europe. <laughs> what is going on? We added each other on Twitter. <laughs> If my memory serves me right, she made a tweet about the painting an hour or so after the painting was stolen. Good God. <laughs> the owner of that clown shit show was rather pushy and kept insisting on us buying souvenirs at the gift shop. In the end, I ended up buying a soap dispenser shaped like a clown mermaid. I'm picturing it. I thought he said that the nude, nude clothes were private. Uh oh. <laughs> uh. The gallery owner made a nude statue of a clown mermaid and sold it to this guy. And it's a soap dispenser. And it's a soap dispenser. Or a lotion dispenser. I went there with my cousin Harriet, who got a free ticket after she accidentally liked a Facebook post from the Royal Clown Gallery. <laughs> accidentally. Question uh, him. I did that. No, you asked about the others. Oh, you're right. What's your name? If that is your name. <laughs> my name is Oliver Martin Johnson. Supposedly. Supposedly. I'm 47. Hmm, hmm. You look a little tall for 47. What's your occupation? I'm an accountant. You will be held accountable. <laughs> What's your family? <laughs> I live here with my wife, Anita, my son, Harry, and our dogs, Mason and Duke. That checks out. What's your alibi? Please, just look around. Even though I was at the gallery the day the painting got stolen, I wouldn't even know what to do with such an atrocity anyway. Oh, I think you know exactly what you would do with that atrocity. Mr. Butchin. If there's anything you'd like to know, just ask. Uh, did I do ask about others? Yes. Yeah. You for me. The owner of that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Clown mermaid. All right, oh. we can leave. Hmm. My God. You should look around outside. I did. It said that the house was older than a century. Oh, my bad. You didn't look around outside the other guy's house or the gallery. I did. It you said did? that. Yeah. How am I missing all these things? Oh my god, we can go to Layla's house now. Hey! Uh, love, we'll go to Layla's house. Layla Brown's house. You will arrive at the house of Layla, the woman Oliver met at the Royal Clown Gallery. We need to look around. It doesn't look like the, the safest neighborhood to live. The houses here look old and the verge of collapsing. We're gonna go inside. Oh, it was this lady. A visitor. Oh. A visitor? How lovely. Layla shouts. Every wall inside is a different color and is filled with artwork of random subjects, and although it's not exactly your style, it does look nice and homely. You can tell the owner has put in a lot of work, if that is what she did. Hello, darling. Would you like a cup of tea? What's your name? My name is Lila Brown. 
What is your age? That's a rude question. I'm 62. What is your weight? I mean, occupation. I'm a freelance artist and amateur clowns ride activist. Sure you are. What is your family? Oh, honey, I consider every neighbor, friend, relative, and stranger to be my family. What is your alibi? I went to dinner with my new friends after we bonded over having a bad experience with the owner at the Royal Clown Gutter. You're probably referring to the tweet I posted, but let me tell you something. If I had my hands on the miserable clown, I'd be screaming it from the rooftops and sharing it with whoever asked. That painting belongs to its rightful owners, and I'll sure as hell ain't let that loser who runs that gallery. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that guy is using this whole ordeal as an excuse to get money somehow. Like how he blackmailed Sna Sappy the Cloud into giving her clown figurine collection instead of bidding money like a usual collector would. Mm. Fine. I don't give a damn, oh. I don't give a damn about what clown's got that painting as long as it's not George. Hmm. Alright, we'll ask about the others. The only possible suspect I can think of is George himself. I asked Oliver, his son and cousin, out for dinner since we bonded over being treated badly by George. You said the painting got stolen between 5 and 6 p.m.? Well, we were out for dinner and parted ways at 7, right before I released my tweet and hopefully trending hashtag into the world. You know, I think I got a little theory going on. We're gonna ask for information. So George told the police he gave out free tickets? That's a lie! I bought my own ticket with my own well-earned money. Same goes for that lovely gentleman who I met at the gallery with his son. His cousin did get that ticket for free, though she had to make it up had to make up for it by buying clown memorabilia. Story checks out so far, but unless I'm missing something. Um so what was that movie called? Uh The Train train murder on the orient express yeah spoiler alert if you haven't seen murder on the orient express uh but the real guilty part i can't think of the what is the word the real perpetrator was everybody and i wonder if all these people decided to just uh swipe that painting all right we're gonna go to harriet's apartment you stand in front of the entrance of Harriet's apartment. It looks expensive. You probably bring down the market value just by being inside. Oliver and Harriet's family appear to be rich like no others. Um, who are you? Harriet asks. You wonder how such a young girl can have so many luxury goods. There's gold and marble everywhere and it's cleaner than an emergency room. Hi, I'm sorry to tell you this, but I'm actually quite uncomfortable with letting a stranger in. If you don't mind, I'll keep my uncle on the phone as we speak. Thank you. Works for me. We're gonna question you. What's your name? I'm Harriet Laura Johnson. What's your age? I'm 19. Ah, makes sense. What's your occupation? I'm a fashion student. That makes no sense. What is your family? Besides the family members you've already met, I'm also close with my parents and sisters. I don't think you're on the phone with your uncle. I think you're on the phone with a potential buyer for the painting that you stole. Da -da -da. <laughs> What's your alibi? I was with my uncle and cousin for the entire evening. If anything, that owner should have been arrested for making me buy the ugliest swimsuit ever. Why would anyone sell stuff like clown swimwear? I don't know. I think that's subjective. You should go put it on and show me. <laughs> I'll be the judge of that. You know what? I How changed my mind. How close? Well, it comes with a big red nose. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other parts of the swimsuit have got big red noses on them. Okay. No. That's probably enough. That was everything, I think. I sure do hope the painting shows up soon. We need to ask about the others. A nice woman we met at the gallery called Lila invited me, my uncle, and my cousin to dinner afterwards. Even though she was furious at seeing the painting of the miserable clown at the gallery, I don't think she actually stole it. She wanted to start a trending hashtag to spread awareness about the gallery showcasing art of clowns without paying the original creators. Lila well, did mention that the painting of the miserable clown was stolen from Candy the Clown a couple years ago. Candy was one of her old friends from college, I think. Now we'll ask for information. I got my ticket for free, but I originally wanted to take a friend, so I bought an additional ticket for my friend Sheila. She didn't join me in the end, so though, so that whole story about George only selling two tickets is a lie. Hmm. All right. 
Well, time to go back to the office. Oof. I've got a feeling you're getting closer to finishing this case, Jake says. Well, let us save here. And try to solve this case. Clues left, two out of four. Hmm. Let's look at the archives. Mm -hmm. The archive smells like wet newspaper. It hasn't been used for a while since most paperwork is stored online nowadays. There was only one bookcase sparsely filled with books and an old Windows 95 desktop computer that doesn't even connect to the internet. Damn. Wow, information on this case. The Miserable Clown. On September 4th, the Miserable Clown, finger painted by the renowned artist Candy the Clown, was reported missing after its owner George Wilson found it missing when he was closing up his gallery that day. The only evidence left in the crime scene, a ransom note and footprints. There is no recorded security footage available since only one visitor bought tickets for the gallery since its opening. That morning, a rather short list of potential suspects has been compiled. Oliver Johnson, socialite and entrepreneur, and his son Harry. Stolen Object, a painting by Candy the Clown. Reported stolen by the Royal Clown Gallery owner, George Wilson. Location of theft, the Royal Clown Gallery's main hall. The owner claims the painting was stolen between 5 and 6 p.m. What are my clues? A ransom note was left in the crime scene. Pay $50 and <laughs> no cents or you'll never see Candy's clown painting again. Do not call the police or else. I know it's 50000 but surely they were like, you know what, this damn painting is only worth 50 They want money. Strangely enough, it doesn't say to whom the money should be transferred to. Several footprints in varying sizes were found in the crime scene. No, oh, it might be all of them. Mm -hmm. A tweet by Layla Brown stating, Justice for Candy, referencing Candy the Clown, an oppressed clown artist from the easternmost part of Europe. Is clown a people? Identify as clown. The tweet was posted an hour after the painting was allegedly stolen. The ticket Harriet gave you. She bought it for her friend Sheila. Weird, considering George told you he only sold two tickets to Oliver and his son. It makes you wonder, though. George also lied about selling two tickets. What else has he lied about? The archive... Okay. Alright. Can we cross-examine the witness? Okay. I think we can now. I think let's look at... Um... Do we interrogate? I think interrogation is what we do now. So we'll say one more time. Very creative use of the engine and I I worked in this long enough to know that this was very tedious not as tedious as something else I'm working on but still required a lot of patience so I admire who put this together you smell something like oh damp soil when entering in the interrogation room let's bring in George first I'm sure this is all just for formalities right George asks all right. <laughs> Raise him now? I know what this is because I'm the one who found it. That all? Okay, so I'm just showing you stuff. Mm -hmm. The footprints. Those could be anyone's. You're absolutely right. What else you got? Motive. Don't forget I'm the owner. Why would I steal my own painting? Well, because you're not going to sell anything for tickets. Nobody likes what you're doing. You're seen as somebody who's a scam artist and you want the insurance money. That's what I think. The tweet? I wish that old bat went missing instead. Uh, we're gonna go back to my office before I make anybody confess though, because I'm gonna see if I can do this in the first try. Ask away. I know I'm innocent. What about these footprints? Well, we sure did walk a lot in the gallery because the elevator was broken. So, I don't really know what this has to do with me. So what now? Ransom note. That's terrible. But I don't want to. I don't want to brag. But I'm not exactly broke. I'm happy to assist. What's your motive? I'm still angry at George for pushing us into buying stuff. But I'm over it now. At the end of the day, Harry had fun. Mm -hmm. mm. Let's bring in Layla. I don't know what I'm doing here. What about these footprints? How is this considered a clue 
Where there's a floor, there's footprints. Tell me how I can help. What about this ransom note that you wrote? Oh god. Uh, uh, wrong picture. A ransom note? How cowardly. I don't need money. I only need justice. You just need ice. Um, I think... Hold on a second. Get out of here. Why are you... Why are you interrupting my... <laughs> okay. What's about your motive? I'd like to change people's mindset, but that's not going to happen if I need to steal stuff like some lower rank criminal. I think a lot can be solved with talking. Let's uh, bring in Harriet. I think I've been helpful enough. Why am I here? Well, Harriet, because of these footprints that you made. I hope your other clues make sense. It smells weird. <laughs> You know why it smells weird? Because it's the smell of the painting that I stole. I mean, <laughs> we stole the crap. We interrogate a mirror. I don't really know what this has to do with me. Anything I can else? This ransom note that you wrote. Who still writes letters? You know what? I'll give her that. I'll give her that. Hmm. What about your motive that you have? <laughs> On. The only reason I went to that awful place in the first place is because I liked one of the gallery's posts by accident. I love clowns. Ah, that doesn't match. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna return to my office and save. Because I think I think it was Harriet. And I'm now going to, in to uh, uh, interrogate And bring in Harriet, which Wait. pisses her off again. And you're gonna confess! Confess? Confess what? Oh. <laughs> um. Okay. Awkward. Awkward, yeah. Uh -huh. So I could do that with just about anybody and not lose or whatever? Alright, I'll confess. I have a weak spot for cute men like yourself. Oh boy. I retire. <laughs> You're a little old for me, lady. Little old lady? George. Was it Harry? Confess, Son? George. I can't believe your nerve. I want to call my lawyer immediately. I'm getting out of here. Ooh. We're going to ask about the insurance remark. All right, all right, I confess. I staged everything. Well, my first in thought was on the right track. I needed the money. I expected tons of visitors to show up on opening day. George, you piece of crap. <laughs> so I could get even on my investments. But only a few people showed up at all. That's because you sculpt naked clowns, George. What did you think was going to happen? You sell creepy clown bikinis. <laughs> get some flipping situational awareness, man. Read the room. Stop it. <laughs> I figured that if I told the police my prized painting was stolen, my insurance company would pay up so I could keep my gallery open for as long as possible and keep making naked clown statues and selling them as lotion dispensers. <laughs> George's unexpected confession brought the case to a conclusion, and I retired. <laughs> George went to prison for insurance fraud and confessed to stealing the miserable clown from Candy the Clown two years prior. Candy the Clown was reunited with her masterpiece. Can we see Candy? You're looking at the picture of you and the miserable clown that Jake took this morning. That's me, I'm bald? Yes. Aw, I'm Lex Luthor. <laughs> no wonder I solved this case in no time flat, I'm a genius! Mm. The most miserable clown of all turned out to be George himself. <laughs> you can't help being disappointed the painting was never stolen in the end. You stare out the window looking at the lights in the distance, wondering about your next case. You know, seemingly forever. I want another mystery to solve. You know, <laughs> Timo, I'm proud of you. You put together a solid and very complete experience. That's amazing. Front to back. Front to back. Complete. Nothing else to add. It's just done. Except for that one bug. Music by bensound.com made for and during the SGB Summer 2021 game hosted by uh, Amalgamash. Jam. Thank you for playing my game. You're welcome. Thank you for submitting it, Timo. What a joy. What an unexpected little innocent joy. I didn't know what to expect, but I'm very pleased. I'm pleased as punch, you know? It's great getting away from the fantasy fighting war dragon 
stuff every now and again, and and there's nothing wrong with that stuff. I love it. It's my favorite genre. But this and is. It was a comedy. Yeah. Which made us laugh. It was well written, and it gave me plenty of improv opportunity. So, thank you very much. Please comments below. This game can be experienced by going to the Game Jam page, checking it out for yourself. Let's all let's all cheer Tim on and encourage him to make more adventures of Liam Davies, Private Investigator. And Jake, his, I'm curious to know what they do after they retire because this is this is the last case. <laughs> you can't keep being a detective after naked clown statues and clown bikinis. This is the this you get your face in the paper for this one and then you're done. <laughs> How can you top it? Thank you, everybody, for watching. Let me know what you thought in the comments below, and I will see you tomorrow. Until then, have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.